Hello everyone, and welcome to Quarantine. Today is a very special episode of The Kitchen Corner because it is someone's birthday. Wonder who. Happy birthday, Percy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, no, it's mom's birthday. Happy yes. birthday, mom. Thank you. Um, so today we're doing a very special birthday episode of The Kitchen Corner and we're gonna be making, what are we making? We're making Texas sheet cake. Texas sheet cake. Otherwise known as West Michigan birthday cake. Why is that mess West Michigan birthday cake? It's for this very special birthday episode, we're wearing birthday hats and I have my very special party scarf. I like it. Thank you. So, let's look at our ingredients, maybe. Okay. Let's. So, in order, we have two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to mix those together. Okay. In there. And then we have a cup of butter, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, a cup of water. This is um, half a cup of buttermilk. Okay. Except I never have buttermilk. Okay, so what is that? Well, this is um, this is milk with lemon juice in it, and when you let it sit for a while, it becomes buttermilk. It's how I make Texas sheet cake every single time. It's fine. It works. Okay. Two eggs and one and a half tablespoons of vanilla. Great. Oh, except that should be teaspoons. Well, it's a good thing we figured that out now. Let's put that away before we put it in there. I would have thought that by now, in our kitchen corner adventures, some of us would be better about checking the ingredients. Okay, what are we doing first? Okay, we're mixing all this together? We're gonna put that in there. Oh, this is, must be a new box. It is a new box. Did Look you that. use up all of my Probably baking soda for before? pretzels. Pretzels take a lot of baking soda. Okay. There's that. And then a Great. quarter teaspoon of that. Okay. And then um, you can just give that a quick stir with this. Here, just mix it up really quick. Okay. Okay. And then what we have to do is we have to put the butter and the cocoa powder and the water on the stove and we have to bring this to a boil. Okay. It's uh, chocolatey buttermilk. Yes. Okay. Remember in the movie when she was going to try to get that special deal and then it fell through and it was going to be up. Yeah. Like she was yeah. going to get a percentage of yeah. the whatever. Well, it was, and then it all fell through. Like that's what can happen yeah. to you. Well, it was too. a lot more devastating for her than it would be for me because yeah. the worst that can happen to me is that I feel my brother hates me, and sure. you know, it's not. Well, not just your brother, so but bad. the public in general. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just general rejection. General rejection. You know, it's okay. From I've, the world. I've experienced enough rejection. I think it can bounce back. Okay. Sure. At this point. Sure. Okay, so already this is melting. The butter is almost melted. It's steaming. That's nice. And it looks like hot chocolate. I kind of want to eat it. Well, it's kind of a lot of butter to drink. Like, seriously. Butter is yummy, though. So, do, would you like to know why I love... Are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it shows you've lived in the South for a little while. <laughs> what are you drinking? Butter. Melted butter with cocoa with in cocoa. it. Cocoa. And lemon juice. <laughs> Do you remember the episode of The Middle when they go to the fair and Frankie is eating all the fried foods yeah. and one of them is like deep fried butter? Yeah, it's disgusting. That's really gross. Yeah, I wouldn't actually drink that. It's no. pretty gross. Um, do you want to know why I really love Texas sheet cake? I do. Yeah, okay. why? Um, because you know that generally I don't, I'm not a big cake person. Yeah. I like angel food cake. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I'm not a huge cake person. Right. But I really like Texas sheet cake. Yes. Because it's a lot more like brownies yes. than cake. It's but, kind of right in between there, isn't it? In the sweet spot. Yes. And But it's still called cake, so it makes your dad happy because your dad loves, loves 
chocolate cake. cake. And chocolate specifically, but he loves Do cake. you like Texas sheet cake, Mr. Cameraman? You don't like Texas he's sheet cake? He's lying. He likes Texas sheet cake. I like West Michigan birthday cake. <laughs> It's true. Look, this is about boiling now. Oh, look at that. You see? It looks like it got bigger. Well, it's just because it's boiling. So okay. now we're going to pour this into the um, into this container. And stunning. You can take that out, actually, because we're going to beat it with the beater. Now my party starts. I know, you're really worried about that, but it'll be okay. It's quite the rich batter we got going here. Now we're going to add, here you can add this, Okay. the sour milk, and I'm going to add, careful, it's chunky. Why is it chunky? Because that's what happens when you make sour milk. milk. Gross. I know, we are concerned. Okay, and then do you want to put the, one, this is just like a half a tablespoon of vanilla, which is the same okay. as... Oh, I think my party hat is falling off my head. Uh-oh. Better fix that. It can't be a birthday episode without a party hat. No. You failed again. I'm sorry. I'm Try trying. harder. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to mix this up. But I think we have to beat it for like... Here you go. Yeah, sure. I think we have to beat it for... One minute. Maybe turn it up a little higher. Alright. Well, I want to make sure you do it long enough to get air into it so that it won't rise up. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Otherwise you get like, remember what the day when dad made the muffins? <laughs> Those were cupcakes. And I do remember that. Yeah. Oh yes, you're right. They were cupcakes and they were like, they were like little squishy cupcakes. I just want to know I didn't do that. So Well, you know what? It's okay. You know what? And then here's this other thing. Like you're supposed to use a jelly roll pan. We have never once used a jelly roll pan. I don't I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what a jelly roll pan is. You can use a 9x13 pan, but then it's thicker and then it's like cake and then I don't like it. So this is I don't know, this might be the size of a jelly roll pan. You don't know. I'm not sure, but this is what I always use when I make Texas cheat cake. It's bigger okay. than 9 by 13, but I don't know how it compares to a jelly roll. Let's do it. Jelly roll Pam was my best friend in high school. <laughs> <laughs> jelly roll Pam! <laughs> wow. If I were Pam, I would be insulted by that. Not if you were Jelly Roll, Pam. <laughs> Enough. It's my birthday. No okay. jokes. Okay. So now we're going to put it in the oven, 350 degrees. We're going to do 25 minutes. Okay. Here we go. Does that mean you're making up that number? No, it's 25 minutes for a Jelly Roll pan and 35 minutes for a 9 by 13 pan. So we're going to start with 25 minutes and then see if it's done. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And now we wait. Okay, yes. However, also, the thing is about Texas sheet cake is you, you frost it. Yeah. But you have to pour the frosting on when the cake is warm. Okay. So we have to make the frosting while the cake is baking. Okay. So that it will be warm and we can pour it on the cake when it's done. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the frosting. Okay. Okay. It's like Kevin's chunky lemon milk. If you can break apart the butter, that will help it go quicker, too. <laughs> Why are you so close to me? <laughs> no wonder Percy's freaked out by you and your stick. <laughs> this is like the time you were trying to get a picture of me for my ACT <laughs> test. <laughs> And you kept holding it so close to my face that I couldn't just smile at you. I was laughing hysterically. It's just, welcome to my nose. <laughs> mom, I don't, mom, what? mom, what? this is not frosting. This is just more 
better. Yeah. This is more chunky lemon milk butter chocolate. I know. We have to add the sugar. Keep going. <sighs> well, it's not going to boil if I keep stirring it. Okay, it will burn if you don't stir it. Oh, okay. So, so I'll stir know. it. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know anything. All these weeks in the quarantine kitchen, and I still haven't really learned anything, apparently. She. Don't make faces behind my back. I I need to move out. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Now time for our infamous corn time kitchen corner taste test. Let's do it. But when we eat help? some for real, then bigger we pieces? need much bigger. Yeah, probably. Oh uh -oh. my. There we go. Okay, here's a fork for you and one for me. Texas cheesecake. It's great. I'm glad you like it. But you know what? What? Like, we cut into this cake and started eating it, but nobody lit candles or sang happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Are you one? Are you two? <laughs> All right, thanks for singing happy birthday. You're welcome. And happy for birthday. Cake with me. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you. I'm glad you like your cake. Thank you for joining us today in the Quarantine Kitchen Corner for our very special birthday episode. And we will see you next time for another episode of Quarantine.